In this episode, I'd like to talk about managing your document margins and bleeds, as well as managing your document presets. I'll be using Adobe InDesign CS3, but the principles I talk about should apply to almost every program. I'll also be doing this tutorial on a Mac, so if you're following along on Windows, you'll have to translate the key commands as we go. Let's get started. First, let's create a new document. You can choose File, New, Document, or type Command N on your keyboard. The New Document dialog box opens and shows you the specifications for the document you are about to create. Notice that I have already set up a document template called Press Cats Business Card. It has all the settings I like to use for business cards already set up. If I click OK, a new business card document will open. I'll close that document and start again from scratch so you can save your own document preset. Command W will close the window or click on the red dot. Next, type Command N for the New Document dialog box. Let's set the Document Preset pulldown to Default so we can reset the values to a standard letter size piece of paper. First, you'll want to uncheck the Facing Pages checkbox. Facing Pages is a feature used for creating multi-page books and brochures. It allows you to have page spreads. We won't need that on a business card, even if it has a front and a back. You'll also notice that the Document Preset pulldown changed from Default to Custom because we've made a change. The standard page size for business cards is 2 by 3.5. So in our Page Size area, let's set our width to 3.5 inches and our height to 2 inches. If you triple click on the width value, it will select the whole contents and allow you to simply type in the new value. Type 3.5 then hit your tab key to automatically advance to the height value box. Now you can simply type 2 and tab again to the next value. Notice that the orientation indicator automatically switched from the portrait orientation of a letter size piece of paper to the landscape orientation of a business card. If you want to create a vertical style business card just click on the portrait orientation button to automatically switch the values. We're going to create a standard landscape oriented business card. We aren't going to do anything with the columns values, so you can ignore that for now. In the margins area, we will set up our document margins. By hitting the tab key two more times, we will advance to the top margin value. At PressCats.com, we require a minimum 1 8 inch margin for all text, logos, and other important elements. Set the top value to .125 and hit tab. If the link box is checked, you'll notice that all the other margin values have changed to .125 inches as well. This makes it fast to keep all your margin values consistent without having to retype them every time. Here are a couple bonus tips. You know that in most data entry forms and dialog boxes, you could advance to the next value by hitting Tab. Did you know that you can go backwards to the previous value by hitting Shift-Tab? Give it a try. Shift Tab. Now you can navigate forwards and backwards through dialog boxes without using the mouse. That is sure to save some time. Also, in the margin area of the new document dialog box, you can just hit the up or down arrows to increase or decrease the margin value in 1 16th of an inch increments. Pretty handy. OK, reset your margin values to 0.125 inches, then click on the More Options button. This will reveal the Bleed and Slug settings area. At PressCats.com, we require a 1 8 inch bleed for business cards and most other products. Tab down to the first bleed value and type 0.125, then tab again. If the link box is checked, you'll see all four values update to the 0.125 inch value. Now you're ready to save your own business card preset. Click on the Save Preset button. The Save Preset dialog box opens and asks for a name for your new preset. I'm going to call mine Press Cats Business Card 2. 
If you've created some new document presets, they will be listed in the preset name pull-down menu. If you select the name of an existing preset, it will overwrite it and save your new settings with the old name. Hit OK to save your new preset, then hit OK again to open a new blank business card document. As you can see, the new business card has the black line representing the page size like always, but now there is a pink bleed line and a purple margin line. These two lines will not print, but will provide guides to align your design elements to. You can hide them by choosing View, Grids and Guides, Hide Guides, or by typing Command Semicolon on the keyboard. To show them, type Command Semicolon again or use the menu. When building your business card, be sure to keep your important logos and text inside the margin guidelines to avoid getting too close to the edges. It is perfectly acceptable to put photos and background images all the way to the bleed guides. Just remember that the page size is also the cut size and some image will be trimmed off. To preview the effect that cutting will have, you can click on the preview icon here or type W on your keyboard. This shows what the final cut card will look like. To get back to the normal view, type W again or click the normal icon here. If you want your entire photo to remain on the card, you can shrink its border to the margin guide and refit. In this instance, I'll also stretch out the background as well. And then preview with the W key. Well, that's about it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. To download design templates or for more design help, visit our website at www.presscats.com. I've also created a fraction to decimal conversion chart. If you'd like it, I'd be happy to email it to you. Just send me a note at contact at presscats.com. See you next time.